Yo, what is good my dudes? I'm Esmeralda Dawn Forever and we are back again with another video. Today I'll be doing some dressage schooling with my six year old warm blood stallion Karma. He's recently come back from a paddock injury and I'm finally starting to do some proper schooling with him today. So without further ado, let's get him ready. Karma is my other main eventing horse, although he's definitely not on the same level as Raven is or Draco was. However, I really do see potential in him and I think with a little more training he'll be progressing to more intense competition. The thing with this horse is... Well, he is the most aggressive stallion to other horses at least that I've ever worked with. I mean, it's pretty bad, so you're probably going to see quite a lot of that today. And that's why I'm taking him to the riding hall where there will be other horses and riders and it's going to more closely resemble the competition environment and we'll just kind of see how he handles it. So when we go outside in a minute you'll notice that yet again I've moved stables. Now this is the Silver Blade Equestrian Centre and I'm hoping that this will be my base of operations for a long time because I've got a really good deal and I have full use of the massive amount of facilities not only for training my own competition horses but actually for running my riding school too, so I've kind of merged with the equestrian centre now. I mean, I've been here for two months and I've already gained several new clients who board here and they're quite happy to pay for my lessons, seeing as they're right on the property basically. So this was a great move and I'm hoping to be here for at least a couple of years, if not more. So having walked to the riding hall, I just started off instantly with some trot work, um, did some shapes and things and just different transitions at the letters. And here we're about to see <laughs> Karma's famous reaction to any horse that comes too close to him. So I just usually circle him a bit and then try and keep him going, just ignore it. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's not much I can really do. Just doing a little leg yield back to the side here. More transitions. Then obviously I'm changing the rein so I can do some on the other rein. Nice rein back. You know, you kind of get used to it after a while. Here I do my first canter exercise, which is an inverted half circle back to the track, trotting when I reach the track again. And I made sure to do that on both reins. You can see a flying change there, just cantering across the middle. This girl turned right into me, despite the fact that he's already had a go at her horse, so I don't know what she was thinking. And I had to make sure that I was stopping him trying to run after her. Just keeps. 
happening? <laughs> See, I was turning him here and I did some rain backs just to try and get him back under control. Then some extended counter down the sides. And I was trying to do some flying changes here, one time and two time. He does struggle with them a lot. And you can see here he broke and came back to trot. The good thing about Karma is that his transitions are very snappy, so I could pick it back up again and keep going. These were pretty good for him actually as well. Some more extended canter. You can see I'm going to try my flying jump. I don't think they were quite as good on this rain. I did try to do some more um, two-time flying changes, but didn't really go very well. <laughs> and then I just stood him in the middle for a minute so he could have a break. And I thought I'd try some more dressage movements in a test. So this is more of what's actually going to be in the test. Now I thought I'd keep this 15 meter circle slowed down at normal speed because, as you can see, this idiot of a woman comes back again with her horse but he doesn't do anything, he just goes straight faster and I was really proud of him for that. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to show off about that. Well done, Karma. <laughs> Extended canter across the middle. And of course it couldn't last, could it? I mean... <laughs> Continuing on with what I was meant to be doing. The other 15 meter circle. That's just a fun little um, movement that I like to do with him. It's quite hard for the steering on the other side, but it's good fun. Another half circle in trot. And then in canter, that's always a fun exercise. Now I tried some flying changes down the side of the school and he actually did very well. He got a bit confused with his legs but we picked it up and he didn't come back to trot so I was really happy with that in the end. And then we're just doing a circle and an extended canter. Very good as well. And some more flying changes. These ones are good as well, he really managed it and he did fall back into trot but I was going to ask him there anyway. So I just turned him in and gave him a pat to kind of let him know the lesson was over. And then to cool him out I just walked him back up to the stables. <laughs> Once I got back to the stables I could just dismount and lead him in. <laughs> No trailer rides or anything for once. And then after I'd untacked, I did give him a good groom and picked out his feet just to kind of say thank you. And I made sure he had food and water.
Bye boy, see you tomorrow. Overall, I'm very happy with Karma's session today. I think things went pretty well, considering. I'm hoping that the aggression is a problem that will lessen with time. Just the more I expose him to horses, hopefully, the better it will get. I do see a lot of potential in him, and I'm hoping that we will go places. So, watch this space, and thank you for tuning in. I'll see you all next time. How pleasant, bobbing along. Bobbing along on the bottom of the beautiful briny sea.